We find out the shooter in uh, Florida uh, is a white nationalist. Uh, and is that gonna stop the right wing from uh, lying about it? Of course not. Uh, and uh, immediately there was fake news all over the place. Uh, BuzzFeed documented 17 different fake stories, um, none from the left, none from the mainstream media, none from moderates. Uh, there were some pranksters in there uh, that do their usual pranks about who the shooter is. Everyone else was right wing. All the fake news came from the right wing and pranksters, that's it. So uh, why? Because they don't wanna say that he's a white nationalist. So among the different fake news they had was, oh, um, he is a communist because he was wearing a pro-communist shirt. It turns out, nope, that's a different guy, different picture. Uh, it was a 24 year old, not Cruz. Uh, they just put it up there because they lie. They lie all the time and they don't care. Uh, f lying for a lot of the right wing websites is not the bug, it's the feature. It, it is to do propaganda for their own benefit. Uh, then they said that uh, he uh, was pro-Muslim because he's written Allahu Akbar. If you read the post where he wrote Allahu Akbar, he was making fun of Muslims. Uh, if you kept reading the post, you would see that he hated Muslims, he hated blacks, he hated Antifa, uh, and he hated cops. Uh, and he was egged on by the Republic of Florida, was a white nationalist group. By the way, their leader admits that he did go to rallies with them and he, and he was part of the group. He says, well, we didn't direct him. but." Uh, their leader also had put up a flow chart about how to be a lone wolf. Now, pause for a second. Imagine that uh, we caught a guy who shot 17 of our kids in a school, and he was a Muslim American, and he had been taught by a Muslim extremist group that he was in to be a lone wolf, and he hated cops and talked about killing them. He hated all these different people and wanted to kill them, and then he did kill them. Do you think we would have arrested the guy who taught him how to be a lone wolf? <laughs> you know that guy would be so deeply in prison and in a world of trouble. Have we arrested the leader of Republic of Florida? Of course not, it's a totally different standard. But back to the right wing media. Finally, they were onto something. They found a BuzzFeed article that says this. It said the quote, why we need to take away white people's guns now more than ever. But as you can see, uh, that is actually the title of a fake BuzzFeed story, they never wrote that. Now that didn't stop the right wing from spreading it everywhere. Immediately after the mass shooting that left 17 people dead in Broward County, Florida, the Gateway Pundit's White House correspondent tweeted a fake BuzzFeed story that claimed white people needed to have their guns taken away. In fact, let's show you that tweet, that's Lucian Wintrich. First of all, it's insanity that they have a White House correspondent. And he writes, look at, look at how racist this post is. First of all, it's totally wrong, uh, probably purposefully so. He says, yes, despite blacks accounting for a disproportionate amount of the gun violence in the US, let's take guns away from white people because of a Hispanic shooter in Florida, 100% sound logic right there. Now, the reality is Cruz, by the way, was adopted by Linda Cruz, and that's why he has that last name, and he considers himself a white nationalist. Um, now. Maybe he made an honest mistake because he's a right winger, he wants to protect the right wing, he wants to blame the left wing, that's his natural inclination. He, got, he thought it was a real BuzzFeed story he, and he got carried away. Uh, well, okay, he did deleted the tweet. And if he says afterwards, look, look, my bad guys, I didn't mean to put that information out there, that's obviously wrong. Uh, and, and I feel deeply embarrassed by it, but obviously we try to do uh, accurate reporting here at Gateway Pundit. <laughs> but of course, that's not what he said. He, after Wintrich was called out for spreading fake news, he deleted the tweet but justified it by saying there were 100,000 comments on Twitter, quote, that reflect the same sentiment. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So there's a lot of idiot right wingers who agree with my racist sentiments and would and love fake news. So I put up fake news, then they agreed, and then I took their agreement to say, well, that justifies me putting up fake news. They are unreal, man. So what? So look, Gateway Pundit is filled with lies and and to, and obviously total propaganda. I get that the left wing has nothing of the sort. You could say they're left-wing outlets who are clearly liberal, who are too liberal, who are biased, etc. But there are no left-wing media outlets, let alone dozens of them, 
that just keep making up fake news. Donald Trump calls the mainstream media fake news. The fake, there is such a thing as actual fake news. That's what the right wing does all the time. They just print fake stuff. They get everybody all riled up. By the time they deleted the tweet, they're like, oh, did that lie get all the way around the world already and get 100,000 comments? Well, I guess it did, didn't it? Mission accomplished. And it's not the first time they've done it over and over again. In the wake of the Las Vegas shooting, which was the largest mass shooting in American history, 58 dead. Well, there it is again, Gateway Pundit. He was the rumor picked up from 4chan to run a story about how the shooter was a Democrat who, quote, liked Rachel Maddow, moveon.org, and associated with anti-Trump army. When it became clear that the story was completely false, Gateway Pundit deleted it from its website. But here we go again, Wintrich later admitted the story was false, but refused to apologize, saying that Gateway Pundit had gotten the information from multiple tips. <laughs> so. A bunch of right wing lunatics tipped me off to a story that was completely false. I ran it. Then a bunch of other right wing lunatics loved the fake news. I deleted it later so we could pretend to be in media and reporters and journalists. <laughs> and then I don't apologize for it though. If CNN or Washington Post gets a fact even a tiny bit wrong. They're like, how could you? You need to fire all of them. You need to fire everybody. When they get facts wrong, they laugh at you. <laughs> Again, getting facts wrong is not the bug. It's the feature at Gateway Pundit. They revel in it. That's their whole job. So they never apologize. What would be the point of apologizing for the thing you set out to do, which is to mislead people and do propaganda. So buyer beware, they, that's their job, I understand it. But for any mainstream media that picks up a story from Gateway Pundit or any of these right wing blogs, that's a thing you actually should be fired over. Because if you don't understand that they purposely put out fake stories to mislead you, you are a terrible reporter. You don't know that they've done that almost every single time. but. That's the problem with the mainstream media. They got to call everything even. Well, the one side tells the truth and the other side tells a lie, but I got to call it even. Okay, right wing, what do you have for me? Well, I'd like to help you spread propaganda. What do you have? <laughs> this is what they have, nothing but lies. What you just watched was one of the videos that we do today, but we actually do a whole two hour show every single day. It's a podcast, you could watch it in video or listen to it as audio. You can download it, you can stream it, and you get it completely ad free if you could become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.